Dushi Karsal, our tropical island filled with beautiful beaches and beautiful people. We can't stop being thankful for our daily sunshine, our clear blue ocean, and breezy wind. We should cherish our island and further promote it to reach its full potential. However, this is how our lovely island will look like if we continue all this use of toxic waste and plastic. If we do not take care of our island, it will not be there for the next generation to enjoy. My name is Nathani Setney, and I am one of the individuals who is worried about our lovely island Curacao and the world in general. We need to come together and use all of our talents, creativity, and ideas to make a strong impact for the world, starting with our beautiful island Curacao. I would like to introduce to you Timo Brower, owner of the Green Force Foundation. He discusses this matter further and gives some important tips on recycling in Curacao. When it comes to pollution, uh, one of the biggest polluters on the planet is, of course, humanity. But it comes down to the individual as well. So um, it is the power of the consumer uh, which we can use to make a change for the better. At this moment, all the people that are not composting and recycling are part of the problem. So we invite everybody to become part of a solution by starting to recycle and starting to make the proper choices when it comes to uh, buying products. You are creating jobs, you are creating an export economy, you are cleaning your island, and uh, yeah, you are making reuse of uh, uh, resources that were once put into the creation of the packaging of the product. And uh, my best advice is start at home, uh, start by yourself, convince your family. When that is all done, start spreading the word and see if you can convince your neighbors and your neighborhood. We have uh, three recycling centers, the collection centers where people can bring their plastics, number one, number two, the plastic caps and uh, aluminum cans as well. Uh, one of them is a Centro Piscadera, the other one is a Mangusa hypermarket, and the big one is at the uh, Van den Twil Salami. If you are consuming meat, you have to make the proper choices because the meat industry is uh, guilty of 40% of the uh, greenhouse gases. So it's a consumer who is actually the problem, not the government, it's the consumer. So the consumer has to start making proper choices and more intelligent choices and well thought about to see if we can change the, the, the unsustainable pattern we are on. We have only 11 years to save the planet. 11 years. That means that it's going to affect all of us and it's going to turn really ugly if we don't change our mindset right away. As you heard, one important factor to keep our island clean is to minimize plastic use. Let's stop using foam packaging, plastic utensils, and bags. If we start there and stand together in this, we have already taken a big step. If we want to enjoy our waters, keep our tourism blooming, we have to be aware of the importance of taking care of our beautiful island. Let's limit the use of plastic as one important step towards sustainability. I also want to challenge the authorities in Curacao on lowering all import duties on all environmental friendly products and packaging. This will encourage buyers to buy the sustainable ones instead of the unsustainable ones. I hope that with this video I will be able to convince you on how important it is for all of us to take better care of our island. 